Well, listen, nothing's more confidence. Uh, nothing more, is more important than the confidence Albertans have in the results of an election when they're reported. Uh, in fact, Leger uh, released a poll in June where they said 36% of Albertans don't trust electronic counted ballots. I don't think it's a good thing to have one out of th over one out of three Albertans walking around not trusting the results of an election. So we're going to do it. We're going to uh, do it without the electronic uh, counters. It's worked for decades, and uh, it'll work again. And and the argument that it will be faster doesn't necessarily hold true. Uh, in the Calgary, where I got elected here a year and a half ago, um, the uh, results came in, and uh, many of my colleagues didn't know what the results were till 11 30, 12, 12 30 at night. Uh, one of my former colleagues thought she'd won the election in Banff, Canmore was busy partying till two or three in the morning and then found out she lost. So the argument that uh, somehow electronic ballot counting is magical and really fast really doesn't hold up to scrutiny. But it is faster. I mean, it should be faster. I, I won't even argue it should be faster. But what the more important point is the confidence that Albertans have in the results when they're reported. Well, what we implemented many, many years ago, decades ago, is that municipalities uh, actually pay for the cost of their own elections. That hasn't changed and will not be changing this time around. A lot of smaller municipalities that are here this, over the last, over the next few days, and they're concerned about infrastructure funding. You and I have chatted many times about LGSF funding. We are seeing the village of Caroline being amalgamated into Clearwater County. We're seeing smaller rural municipalities that really hard up for infrastructure funding potentially on the collapse of being amalgamated or dissolved into their rural counterparts. If you don't increase the LGFF funding, they're going to be gone here soon. Do you have concerns that your government isn't doing enough to ensure the viability of these small towns? I would submit to you that no government's ever been done enough in providing infrastructure funding. Uh, we all have great needs, and, and I'm sympathetic to that. Listen, the federal government, who we're not always super friendly with, probably needs more money for infrastructure. Our government needs more money for infrastructure. Municipalities need more money for, 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 for infrastructure. It's, it's, a, it's an age-old problem. It's always been here. It probably always will be here. What we all need to do is manage the resources that we have at our disposal the best that we can. We also need to all do our best to stay in our own lane, to spend money on things that are in our core responsibilities. And I have great sympathy for municipalities that are struggling. I do but we all have to live within our means and our government has a responsibility to balance the budget and, and to live within our means because if you don't, the long-term result of that is higher interest rates, higher taxes, at some point coming to the point where we may not be able to provide as well social services, healthcare, education. So there's lots of things, lots of really important issues competing for those dollars. We do our best as government to balance those really important uh, priorities and one of those really important priorities is municipal infrastructure funding so it's it's in the mix battling with all these other important things and we do the best we can the fact that municipalities want more is a strong indication that they understand their job and they're good at it because part of their job is to ask us for more money for infrastructure but when one level of government owns 60 percent of the infrastructure in this country and in this province being the municipal does the province not need which we just heard the Premier talk about in her speech to the delegates today to work to address these issues, or do you think you're doing enough today to address those issues right now? Because people are, municipalities are going through their budget season, and I've talked to some of them, and they're saying, we're going to have to put off infrastructure projects because the province isn't stepping up. Well, uh, let me say this. We work collaboratively with municipalities on an ongoing basis. Um, yeah, sure, you can make an argument that it's not perfect, but, but it never has been, and, and I would go back to what I said earlier. I don't think there's, you could give me a single year point in time when anybody's had enough infrastructure money, and so it is. And it's hard. 
it's hard for municipalities. They've got competing interests. They've got people that really, that whose kids want to play in the park and, and they need the grass cut and they need to fix the potholes and they need to replace the buses on the transit system. Like this, these are super important issues that matter to citizens and municipalities. And, and we talk about it. We have, our government has several funding streams. Um, I mean, we just, Last week, I think it was the Premier announced another $8.6 billion in education funding to build schools because of how fast it's growing. And you could say, well, yeah, strictly speaking, that's not municipal funding. But almost all of it, if not 100% of it, will be spent in municipalities because everything that happens in Alberta pretty much happens in a municipality. So these are there's a lot of money that we spend in municipalities that don't go to the municipality. Every time we build a hospital, every time we build a school, every time we fix a provincial highway or fill a pothole, like that's... And when municipalities say it's not enough, I say they're right. But we do the best we can with the resources we have. They need to do the best that they can with the resources they have. And part of doing their job as well is to ask us for more. So, sorry, can I just ask one last question just to, on something? And I know I shouldn't, but you said one follow-up. But grants in lieu of taxes. Yeah. This was a concern of the delegates on the floor. This did not come from Edmonton. This came from High Prairie. This came from Mayor Thorpe. Mm -hmm. Rural communities. Do you think you need to outreach to these smaller communities to ensure that they're getting their fair share, whether it be LGFF or replacing the grants? <laughs> well, uh, respectful. I hate to beat the dead horse. No, no, it's not a dead horse. It's a live horse. If municipalities are interested, it's a live horse. It's not a dead horse. And it, should I reach out with municipalities? Well, sir, with all due respect, today and yesterday, I have met with 30 municipalities one-on-one. -on -one. 30. You might say I could do better. I could do worse, too. 30 is quite a bit. I've been working pretty hard the last couple of days to talk to as many municipalities as I possibly could and and will continue to do so. And what I and I was this isn't the only day I talked to them. We have meetings, telephone, direct, ongoing throughout the entire year. And I end most of my meetings the same way because I know there's ongoing issues. And I say, folks, this is the end of today's meeting. This isn't our last meeting. This is just today's meeting. So the communication never stops, never can, never will. I guess just on that note about communication and federal funding, specifically going back to the voting pipe layers, this isn't overwhelming and this is broken down. And it sounds like it is some serious responsibility, but that is not something that the province would consider. So can you talk about these conversations? What are you listening to? Of course. But but you know what the audience for that is? Yeah. Municipalities are an important partner in this conversation, but the bigger and more important audience is the people of Alberta. Leger polled them in June, 36% don't trust electronic counting, according to Leger, not according to me. I don't want one out of three plus Albertans walking around not trusting the results of one of the most important things that they're involved in is electing people. that they should also care about the people of Alberta that trusts the results of their elections. Because I don't want the people of Alberta, one out of three, walking around and saying that mayor doesn't really have the authority to make rules that I have to follow. That Reeve, that councillor, because I don't trust the results. I want to take away as much of that as possible so everybody accepts that the results are legitimate and respects their elected officials and the really important decisions that those elected officials have to make. Well, the mayor knows, and, and the premier made clear we'll look at it again next year at budget time. I, I know he likes to talk about it every month, but he's a former federal minister, so the mayor of Edmonton knows better than anybody that we budget once a year. Well, there's staff talk to municipalities uh, over the summer, and uh, we got a bunch of feedback, which we're considering, and uh, amongst the regulations. And uh, I can't give you an exact date, but I will. Uh, we also would like to get the recommend the uh, regulations in place. So I don't know. I'm hopefully within the next month. Um, I can't again. I apologize. Can't give you a date, but as quick as we can, because uh, a lot of people that want to run for municipal office uh, next year want to know about that stuff and a lot of currently elected 
uh, municipal councilors, mayors, and Reeves are interested in what the regulations will look like also.